Right folks, got Sony to work. So I've done a little bit with the Kodak video. Little Sony's taking over for a little bit more of this stretch, which is new to me. This was uh, not the grand, a type of grand finale of the walk. The bit I've wanted to do for a long time. But I was hesitant because it was once they said it was private, but basically what it was, they were working on it. And it's gorgeous, isn't it? A mixture of trees, all healthy, all coming out in this lovely 26th or 27th of um, April 2022. And I bet that's a lovely walk up through there as well on the top. You could explore lots here. Valleys either side. Yeah. And like I said, all paths, they always link up with a, what you call a main track. I don't think this is a massively long walk, and I don't care if it is. This is what I've been aiming for to come here today. This and the area of outstanding beauty, because the tulip, not the tulips, the bluebells should all be out. So we're taking a lovely steady walk. It's going up, it's a weird thing because we're actually going uphill, but it doesn't look like it exactly, although it does, but it doesn't because you're surrounded by these high hills, but we're actually going up. Yeah, we're actually going up nice and steady. Why I knew it was possible to do this is um, a year ago there was a, or two years ago even, there was a young family, very noisy they were, and they were on part of the walk back there, slightly different way that I'd come last time, but they came up here, and I thought, well they're going up there, so maybe I will, another time, or go down it even another time, you know, this, it's, it's just really lovely, isn't it? This is absolutely gorgeous. The lovely lime green colours of the trees. Oh God, it's so beautiful, it's so peaceful. There's no wind. You're protected here. It's quiet, a few birds twittering. But we are going up, but it's pleasant going up, isn't it? When I've gone over the other side before now, I've had to come off the hill for it. I've had to climb up the parade in the heat. Believe me, that is not easy. That is not easy. I thought, take advantage of Sony. Zoom into the trees. Aren't we gorgeous? I said my Sony felt so tiny after handling the Kodak, the big Kodak Pro Pixie something or other it's called. No, Pixie Pro. Yeah. Or is it Pix Pro? Pix Pro. See that we're still so flat, and we're curling round as well. It's beautiful, isn't it? And we'll probably come out on the familiar route that I know and I'll say, wow, look at that. There's that lovely pathway. It doesn't look that well used by bikes. It probably is, but I can't see. They have got designated areas that they are supposed to use. But it's um, a Tuesday. Payday. But also, I don't think all the kids have gone back to school yet. <coughs> At a weekend, people who know this, Warren, <coughs> I can imagine families coming and walking this. <coughs> you can also see very clearly ahead. If, you know, if a deer was to appear lurking up there 
with the Sony, I'd pick them up very, very quickly with the Sony. I'd zoom in with my viewfinder like this. I'd zoom right in. So gorgeous. I don't really don't want to turn Sony off because you can bet your life the moment I turn Sony off, a deer up here. With the Sony I can zoom in like I've just shown you. Quick, fast and steady. With the other camera I won't be able to see what I'm looking at. I don't know why they don't have viewfinders on all cameras to be quite honest. I don't know why they don't. They're brilliant things. So this is Sheila on one of her walks over at Robert Warren, exploring still, forever finding new pathways. There's loads of them. There's loads I've never even touched. You should I always like to get the baseline sorted first when I go to it, when I explore, even though it's been 10 years. I like to know where the edges are, where the main paths are, the escape routes, everything. And it can change up here. You can get disorientated. A lot of the tracks are similar. And sometimes, not so much here, but in some of the areas with the more industrialised type tree that they cut up a lot. Um, I don't think they cut these down. These are sort of different trees. But some of those pine trees, you, they all look very, when they're all tall, loads and loads and loads and loads of them. And they have them in plots. When they decide to cut some of those plots down, and you haven't been up there, say, that way for a couple of years, you think, well, where am I? Where, where, you know, it happened, it happened to me on several occasions where they've hacked and chopped up the pine trees. These aren't, these are just, this is a different area. I would say this is a very protected tree zone here. I would say so. These are special. They're all special. Even the pines are special. But they're like used for making stuff. There's something ahead there. I'm just going to zoom in. It's probably just a stump. This is what I like about it. It's a, it's a good um, security thing really more than anything. I can zoom into that and wait for it to focus. See how good it is? You can focus right in. Like I say I've got loads of memory and I've got two, two fresh batteries for the Sony. It was very good starting up then. I always forget what I do. I must do something when it doesn't mind. Right folks, let's turn off again. Take some pictures of these gorgeous trees. Over and out. Just don't want to turn off, it's so gorgeous. Just want to share it with everyone. How beautiful this is. How magnificent with the bluebells there, look. And they're not fully out yet. Over and out. Right folks, just point something out. I've never done that before. And I don't recognise that track. I think that's a new one that comes out further over where I come. I've seen some of these sort of tracks. I think my main path would be over there. I'm carrying on up this beautiful track. This is all new to me. I've never, as far as I know, I've never done this before. I've just left that. Look, you'd hardly know it was there, would you? 
Do you know what I mean? You hardly know it was there. And all the time we are heading up. There's another one of those cut-throughs, I call them. But we'll just carry on up here because it's bloody gorgeous. I think when you see a cut-through like that, that leads to a main path. Or it leads deeper into the wood where they're doing a lot of forestry work. So, yeah, it's gorgeous, isn't it? It's one of those hidden, hidden tracks, I think. That's probably why I was drawn to it. Because you don't know where you're going exactly because you're down here. You're in that type of valley. I'm still using Sony at the moment. Because just now, because I had Sony, I was able to zoom in to a beautiful Red Admiral. Beautiful. They're getting rare. But they can be saved by places like this. I can't believe how beautiful this is. I can't believe I've missed it. I used to say that it's quite big this wood, you know, this warren. I've been drawn, like I said, I've been drawn to it for a long time. I now know why. I now know why. The only thing I don't want to be doing is starting to go downhill at any point. Because when I'm doing my other tracks, I'm going up and up and up, leading to the area of outstanding natural beauty. The Mendip Hills, with the, where there could be loads of purple haze from the bluebells. I'm starting to get really hungry as well, by the way. Like starving. Now, once again, I've got this. I can zoom into those trees. That could be a board. Let me zoom in. Yeah, there's a board look. So that's showing us there's a main path somewhere over there. Now I saw that with the naked eye. I've always had very, very good long sight. I need glasses for reading and for the computer. You give me a long distance and I'm in there. I can see it from, I saw that board instantly. So I'm quite happy, I'm happy I'm doing this. I just can't believe I've missed this track. I haven't missed it, it's just I've never done it. I knew, I, was, I knew that bit was down there. I was totally unaware of this bit. There's some fencing over there. That bit looks private. That could be bees or something in there. I can see something yellow over there. And not to pass a soul either. But I do expect, like I said, the weekenders. I don't think they've a uh, loud bikes down here because there's a little bit of track there but it doesn't look overrun. It's probably a protected area this bit. Always a good idea to keep on the track if you can though. I'll tell you why it ticks. If you can, the ticks out now will be very very hungry. Now I can also see a blue pipe, a blue piece of wiring going along from over there. So there's something over there. There actually looks to be another path over there actually. Yeah, the blue wiring. It could be a blue hose pipe. I, don't, I, I really love exploring, you know. I love doing new tracks. Um, and I know there's so many here. It's not the case, I mean, in the beginning, yeah, I kept a familiar roots, building up my confidence to come in deeper into the wood. Now I know the boundaries and the main roots. I can sometimes think, yeah, just go down there, Shell. Have a look. Or go up there. Yeah, there's something over there. Yellow, 
yellow and blue. A bit like the Ukrainian flag colours. Yes, yeah, so that's either electricity or or water. Isn't it? And there's something down there. And there's a path going down there as well. Let's just zoom in. Very good with the Sony, once again, we'll zoom in really well and give you lots of information. Look, look how well it's going. Then it stops. It's fencing. That's of significance, whatever that is. And there's a track that way, but that would take you down. We want to keep going up. I'm keeping the Sony running at the moment. Yeah, it's a hose pipe, isn't it? It's taking water somewhere. Yeah. Look at these lovely trees, everyone. They're gorgeous. Still going up. Good sign. The air of outstanding beauty will be over that way. God, this is like this is like the jewel in the ground, isn't it? This place. Look at those leaves. They're gorgeous. I can't believe how blessed I am to be here. To be able to come and see this beauty. Of course I can do it from the other direction another time. Whenever you do a walk in the other direction, it's like doing a completely different walk. Going down there will be just as great. It will be easier. Although, like I said, I'm on a hill. I'm climbing up all the time, but it's pleasant. It's not a slog. And you have got the shelter of the trees to a certain extent. It's well worn. Something does come along here. It's well worn. It's known. But I've got it to myself today. All to myself. Not a deer in sight. You can bet your life. And I've said this loads of times. The moment I turn Sony off, a deer will appear. Now we haven't crossed one main track yet. This is a this is this is like the heart of the bloody road barrow, isn't it? That I've never found before. I've never even thought about coming down this bit and having a look. It's weird, isn't it? It's beautiful. All right, I'm going to turn off in a minute, folks. When I get up to there, because I'm hungry and I need to have um, a little bit of something to eat and a drink. It's nearly time to have my fruit juice, which is um, the glucose. I've only had sips of water so far. See, look, if you see these tracks here once again, this will all link up with another main pathway. But it, as you can see, it's going down. going down all the time. I'm just going to get up to a little bit further. I can see something red. Is it a person? What is it? Could be a plaque. Let's have a look. Now this is where Sony's handy. It's a security thing really because you can see way off. Could be a tree, could be a bush, could be some netting. We'll find out in a minute. Right folks, I'm gonna turn Sony off. Keep your fingers crossed. It's got lots of battery. There's still lots of battery on here. Huh? Three quarters. It's hardly used any. I just love this. Love it. 
Over and out, folks. Take some pictures.